Good morning, Gemini. So welcome to your general love reading. Uh, this is a general, so it may not resonate with everyone. If it does resonate with you, there will be a description box link for the extended membership so that you can go watch the extended where I dig deeper into your person. Um, if you don't want to do that, make sure that you like, comment, share, subscribe, because whatever video gets the most loves, at the end of next week I will come back, look at it, and I will release that extended. So, let's get started. Also, if you haven't watched the April forecast, those have been released, and this will be for March 30th through the 5th. But time is fluid, so if you come across this in December and it resonates, that's when you were meant to see it. So, let's see, what does our Gemini need to know about possibilities of love? What do we need to tell our Gemini? of love. Hmm. Okay, overall energy. Eight of Wands. So you are definitely working on something, Gemini. Um, trying to remove obstacles, trying to be able to have your day in the sun. Um, whatever it is, I feel like you've been working on it for quite some time. Past energy, nine of swords. So this has had you in your head. It could be for some of you, I'm feeling like maybe feeling like you don't have enough to offer for others. It's just you know, self-worth and not, not being sure and aware of how to make this happen. Um, current energy, will of fortune, again, trying to get rid of those obstacles because you are ready to take a chance on this. Most, uh, utmost future here is Ace of Swords. So cutting through things, um, cutting through the pain, getting to where you're ready to start this. And you did throw an extra card. So extra card for strength is the tower. So I feel like there may be one big obstacle in that eight of wands that you're going to have to deal with. But let's clarify. So let's clarify this eight of wands for Gemini. Eight of Wands for Gemini. So we get the Judgment, the Knight of Swords, and the Knight of Cups. Hopefully you don't hear my husband too much in the background. Obviously, small house, people working. Um, normally he's been working up in the bedroom, but I'm cleaning all the linens today. And so he's downstairs, and we're in a 1970s house. So that means that... The downstairs is like open through like right here is my kitchen and then there's a big opening and you can like look down and see in the um, downstairs and that's where he is and loud voice carries hopefully it doesn't but anyway if it does and maybe this isn't the video for you but i'm just letting you know in advance so on the eight of wands overall energy we get judgment knight of swords nine of cups so i feel like with the judgment card it has taken you a long time to get to this spot where you are ready to actually move through this i mean it's it feels like it's judgment from several angles so like judgment from yourself judgment from for some of you i feel like it's judgment from what others will think about your choice um but you are ready to move through that. With the Knight of Swords, 
which is a very Gemini card, you have the internal pain that you're causing yourself. So this is completely self-created, most likely brought up from like wounding that's been brought to the surface to be healed. So work through it. Nine of Cups, wish fulfilled. This is that love wish that you've had. That's why you are moving the last of those obstacles. Let's clarify this past energy of this Nine of Cups for our Gemini. So in your head, Nine of Swords, because of Five of Cups, I feel like you have attempted multiple times to kind of move into this energy and then pulled yourself back. With the Five of Cups, there is this like chase, retreat, tra chase, retreat sort of energy that's coming through. And um, I feel like with the overall energy, you're ready to move into the chase, especially because we also have the chariot. So you've been in your head and now you're ready to just move forward with the Empress. So whoever this person is, like, you know, the Empress here is holding fruit um, could be forbidden fruit for some of you, could also be um, just that this person is offering you like this sweetness that you have not had in your life for a long time. I mean, she's wearing the pineapple on her head. She's just very sweet and seductive and just juicy and you just, this is what you want is this person. And it's not gender specific, so. Also, any of these roles can always be reversed. So let's clarify Wheel of Fortune, current energy. So you're ready to take a chance, but exactly as you always are, it seems like in many of my reads, Gemini, and exactly in this read, as I was saying with the chase retreat with the Five of Cups, ready to chase, move into taking a chance, the Hanged Woman. Getting in your head, trying to make sure, how do I make this work out perfect? In a world where there is no perfection. Magician, how can I do this without any causing any pain? If we waited for all of the best things in life until there was a moment when it would not cause any pain, nothing would happen. Because there is always light and dark in every every moment of existence. So Six of Cups. However, I feel like you're coming into a more balanced situation with trying to not be completely in your head and trying to move forward somewhat in your desires to create this. Let's clarify the Ace of Swords feature energy. Ace of Swords for Gemini. So, Ace of Swords, moving forward, cutting through the pain that you have perceived is going to happen, and kind of riding with it with the Six of Swords. So, the Six of Swords is an energy where you're in this space where you're sure that there's a part of you that's sure that things are not going to work out, that you're going to end up crushed, but you're going for it anyway. With the Knight of Pentacles, you've still got somewhat cold feet here, 
right? But you're still not 100% sure, but you're moving into it with a light energy, with a playful energy, trying to not be overtly like serious in the situation, trying to be fun with it. And with 10 of pentacles, I feel like this is very connected to that eight of wands um, in my intuitive feeling is that the 10 of pentacles, there were things that you had to overcome regarding, maybe it's emotional, but regarding stability, regarding your coins that you had to finish before you could move into this. So let's clarify that strength card that jumped out for Jennifer for Gemini with the tower. What's going on with the tower? Tower for Gemini. So this is definitely very new for you. Um, with the star, what I'm seeing is that you have moved very, like it feels dimensionally to me. Um, you have allowed the light within your own darkness to come to play. Um, to come out. Um, it's almost like you are a completely new person coming through this into this new space. With the Ace of Pentacles, again, it's showing up. We've got the Ten of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is all of this new stability, all of this new um, opportunity, um, possibilities, and it's on the other side of this tower is where everything starts to shine and grow for the Two of Cups. So I feel like, like you had to re-envision everything you thought about yourself and love for this Two of Cups. So let's do a little clarifying on all of this. When we get over to the strength, I might pull out the new uh, deck that I got. And let's see. So let's clarify the overall energy of judgment. Gemini. So you get Ace of Cups, Justice, and Four of Cups. So again, judgment on feeling like an uncertainty of whether or not your love is going to be returned. We have the Justice card. Um, it could be another Gemini, another Libra, because um, we've got that balance here of the two sides. But I feel like there was this uncertainty of whether or not you were going to be able to choose in a manner that would allow you to remain balanced. But Ace of Cups won out because you desire this relationship. And how this looks to me today is very different than I've seen it before. So today, what I see is I see the Divine Masculine holding this special, energetic love 
and offering it to the heart chakra of the divine feminine for i mean you may not see it when you look at it because i'm looking at it through the vision of spirit and intuitiveness and it very much today looks like it is a divine masculine offering to the divine feminine of this ace of cups love Let's clarify Knight of Swords overall energy for Gemini. Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords for Gemini. Or Knight of Swords. Ace of Swords. Where did Ace of Swords come from? Oh, Gemini. Intuitively, it came to me that you are going to work through this pain. Let's see where Ace of Swords shows up at. Oh, it's in the future. So you're in the pain right now with Eight of Swords. Knight of Swords, internalizing it. Eight of Swords, not sharing how you feel. doing life as normal, not sharing how much pain you're dealing with, um, which will end with the Ace of Swords here in the future. Um, with the King of Wands, I've got, um, you know, you're passionate, but it's almost like I feel like you can't, you feel like you can't show it. Like if you show it, you're going to be eaten by that lion. So you're just very... No happy, no sad, right? And um, Nine of Cups again, and we've got Nine of Cups up here on the overall energy. So it's just clarifying that that internal pain that you're feeling is because you want to move forward. You feel that in your heart chakra. You want to move forward with this wish fulfilled. Let's clarify the Empress in the past energy. Empress, past energy for my Gemini. My goodness, my pants are falling down. I didn't have a belt on. Okay. So, your person brings out just the best, funnest energy in you. However, this was the Empress on the Nine of Swords. And so I feel like the reason also that that was put on there is because Five of Pentacles, you wanted to move through that door, but you haven't been able to. And with the Two of Swords, it's because you don't know if all of that energy is reciprocated. Let's clarify this Five of Cups energy. So yeah, Nine of Wands coming through as passionate, wanting to chase. Remember we had the chariot over here, wanting to chase after this. Strength not showing how you feel, pulling back. You see that infinity symbol, knowing what it is, but not wanting to showcase it. The world, which isn't, you know, an ending here, or the wheel, which is an ending here because it's time to, to, you know, go for it again. And up in the sky here, we do have the moon overlooking the will, which um, is showcasing that you're not being clear, as well as we have the sacred geometry behind here in the clouds, which is just saying, just believe 
in what is coming through. And we've got the dice here on the shirt really saying, you know, it's coming through almost as roll the initiative, right? Like it's time to move forward. It's time to take this chance. Let's clarify the magician in the current energy. We have Temperance, Three of Pentacles, and Two of Cups. So, for some of you, this may have been trying to balance out your feelings in order to create the stability that you desire here. But with Two of Cups, we do have, again, Two of Cups over here, Two of Cups, that this is something very special. Um, I'm going to clarify this Ten of Pentacles future energy. So Ten of Pentacles, um, clarified with Four of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, and Seven of Swords. So I feel like there is this feeling that, you're, you know, with this being the end, on top of the Ace of Swords, cutting through the pain, is that you are taking what is yours and moving on from the past. Um, so it could be that a lot of the work you've done was healing like generational type wounding, but you're not willing to take what doesn't belong to you and what isn't yours to manage into your future. Because you know for the Ten of Cups, you have to have this clarity. And with the Seven of Swords, you've got to be done fighting. You've got to finish the fight it looks like you're ready. It looks like you're done. You um, have fought your last battle. You're ready to move into the sun so that you can have that very aligned, very balanced Ten of Cups relationship. So I'm going to pull these out. I really want to just sort of figure out what is going on here. the energy here from this tower because it's all great energy on the other side of this tower we've got the star the ace of pentacles the two of cups so what do i need to know about this you're all i've ever wanted You're the only true person that gets, the only person who truly gets me. A lot of signs are pointing to you lately. The thought of you still does things to me. It really was me and not you. And that's what it's about. Getting beyond that tower, it's getting beyond yourself. It really was me, not you. Let's pull a couple of cards from the universe, Gemini. And then I'll, in the extended, I'll move into your person. So we get five of pentacles, king of pentacles, and three of cups. 
So it really was me, not you. You've got to be able to move into this unknown or none of it will ever happen. Once you move into this unknown with the King of Pentacles, anything is possible. Anything you desire can be created for this Three of Cups. For this trinity of 5D, 3D, pure love energy to come together. So Gemini, I hope that helps. And I will see you in the extended. Again, the link is down below. Make sure you like, comment, share if you want to try to get this reading for the extended for free next week. Um, and then in the extended, I will clarify how your person is feeling. So I'll see you there. Bye.